Life's pretty good. Morning, how are ya? Our channel has just passed 100k subscribers. I've got a bunch of great boards and great waves ahead. I'm gonna soak it up like a sponge. just like full sideways <laughs> oh no what have I done so I was in the barrel took off on like a proper double up and I got through the first section and got spat towards the second section and then I was too deep so I like went back and sort of tried to kick my board away from me but I think the lip sort of sucked it up quicker and I thought, and as the board was going over the lip, it clipped my foot and it crunched my toes. It went, ow, f that hurts. Why is it like that? Stay there. Well, it's um, definitely broken. So a few, a little, little solid break there, which is super annoying. Hmm. A little while out the water though. It is what it is. There's always a silver lining. I can't see it right now. But I'm sure it's there somewhere. I'm gonna fly back to Adelaide. <laughs> oh. Four weeks of sitting at mum's house doing nothing but work and playing with the dog. I begin planning the ultimate surf trip to rip back into the ocean as soon as the tow is ready. But that long without surfing will send anyone crazy and I'm no exception. So even though it's a little bit early and the tow is still killing me, we're heading northwest. That was fun. Uh, probably surfed at 50% capacity or less. Taking off 
on every wave with, with a lot of care. <laughs> sort of doing like a three stage pop up, but at least, um, at least we're back in the water for now. I feel like I can't even surf anymore. The, the toe is still not getting better. I just have so much energy to surf and put into surfing and I, I feel like there's nowhere to put it right now. Each surf I'm trying to like make up for the past six weeks. You know, like I'm trying to soak up extra surfing because I've had so little over the past month and a half. And then it's like if I have a bad session, it, it feels like a really bad session. You know what I mean? Promise me that you'll never forget who we are. So yesterday I uh, was having a really fun surf at um, one of the little beaches in town and uh, got a little bit too excited and went for an aerial, came down really awkwardly and basically my knee folded inwards under me. Um, so luckily I sort of um, had Michael here who's a resident physio at the moment. <laughs> and uh, had to go to the emergency department and it looks like just based on uh, initial observations to be some form of uh, MCL rupture, disruption, injury with a potential uh, meniscus injury as well. So until I get an MRI I can't really uh, determine the best strategy moving forward but this is another little chink in the, in the process this year. So it looks like another little stint of rehab. No, I think, you know, these injuries just happen when you're like too excited, you, you know, or you're just having too many expectations. Okay. okay. Yeah, I came up here expecting to get barreled every day. I was going to get 
empty waves and now I'm here and it's been crowded and I've missed almost every good swell because of the knee. So you've just got to accept it. Stay busy and productive. I don't know, be grateful. Do other things besides surfing. That's what I reckon. Before you know it you're back surfing anyway and you know it's not that bad and even though you're not <laughs> I'm not ripping at least I'm in the water in the water and I think that's what matters Oh, he would. He's not allowed to put this fantastic place on his videos <laughs> so that everyone comes here. Look at her nose. They do now. That was funny. Oh, no secret whisper. Oh, I don't think it's a secret anymore. <laughs>
if we were going to talk about what I've um, learned, I'd say uh, a bit of patience. I probably rushed back into surfing with the toe and the body just wasn't ready and then the knee happened. It was all just lessons, you know, or little signs to just slow down and soak it up. Because even though we're addicted, it's it's still, you know, it is just surfing and and there there is other beauty uh, and, and there is other... There are other special experiences to to live, especially here in Australia. It's bloody amazing. So, no, it's been a really rad few months, and I'm looking forward to going south. <laughs>